What's up, guys? Tim Austin with Drag Boss Garage. Hey, Ben Alameda, I want to give you a big shout out too. Thank you for mentioning me and the new DBG 351C, the new 351 Cleveland block. So, yeah, some are available. Not many. I already sold a bunch of them, so I only have a few left. So, yeah, Ben, thank you for introducing that block, the DGB 351C, I like to call it. So, right now, what I'm doing is mapping out the oil galleys which I've already got it down. I'm gonna make a video on that to share with you guys to show you the priority oiling that, that this block has. And we're gonna compare it to this. I was comparing it to the stock Cleveland non-priority where the oil's going down this side of the lifter galley. Yeah. Stay tuned for that video. Like you said, I like the 9.2 deck height too. And with this being a stable platform, yeah. This thing could make some serious horsepower. I bet you get a hold of 2,000 horsepower easy, 2,500. We'll find out. We'll see what Warren Johnson thinks about it since he's checking it out for me. Now, one of the things that we had talked about and I saw on the internet, we talked, I put a picture up about, and I'll put it right here. When you look up the bore of a 4030 bore, which you see here, now compare it to a 4125 bore, you can see the difference in valve shrouding. On a Cleveland, any way you can eliminate valve shrouding, go for it. The best way to go is to go with a bigger bore, right? Well, you can't go much more 30 over with a regular stock Cleveland block. If you're lucky, you might get 40. I've ran it before at that. Some of the good race blocks, the XE stuff, you might get 80. Unlikely about one and a quarter, but who knows? This 4185, so no problems with that. Now, now when I put that post on Facebook, Arlen Fadley put on there that back in the day, he ran a Boss 302, and what he did was offset the cylinder heads to decrease the valve shrouding. And he said that he put in 65 thousandths offset dowels. Now, there's lots of tricks to try to get that combustion chamber centered over there, right? Angle milling, you can try to change that location of where the valves are in relation to the piston and the cylinder center line. Uh, there's a, a bunch of tricks. And we'll talk about that in our membership with Darren Morgan. A lot of tricks like that. We're going to have a whole section on, on things like that. But to clarify, what I wanted to show you and share with you is this video that Ben Alameda made for me. Now, back in the day, in the NMRA days, Ben was a force to reckon with. He built a lot of fast engines, raced a lot of fast cars. Check his channel out. But one of the things he sent me, he said, look, Tim, I did this. And, and you'll listen to what he says on the video. And it was one of the biggest things to help with unshrouding the valves. So watch what he does. And then you can make some comments on it. We'll try to get him on for a live chat and a collaboration with him. And he, he may even join and be a presenter on the Drag Boss Garage University membership portion. First, what you gotta do is mark your hole, your dowel, that one there, and on the other side as well. And then you gotta use a dial indicator and set it up to 60 thousandths, Oop. there you go, 60 thousandths, okay, lock it down, and then you do this, now you scribed it, you can see the scribe mark right there. Very, very obvious. Let me do that again. Make a deeper indentation. There you go. All right, now you start grinding that. Just like I did with the dowel, I spray this with brake cleaner and I use one of these paint pen. Alright. And 
I will now put this on the block and scrape the bottom. And then we'll see how it, it looks like when I move it. There you go, you can see the scribe marks right there as well. Can't really, but let's just use the cylinder. You can see the scribe marks there. and snug. That's your preliminary, then you're gonna trial fit this on the on the block. Alright? And you start clearancing till you get your desired 60 or 80 thousands. Okay? Okay. I moved the dowel holes. And you can see it from here. It's different. And I'm at zero and as I instructed earlier, that I did this with 60 thousandths on the caliper, and I scribed it, and look what happens. See, zero that, and move it. 60, there you go, all right? So that's where we're at with this thing, and we'll look at underneath the block how it looks like. There's a lot more opening, you can see right there. You can see very, very clear how much more that went away from the wall. If this was a 125 block, 4 125 bore, and I'll do that next with a uh, block with a 4 125 bore. And we'll show what this one, one would just do. Absolutely phenomenal. Like I always say, you're always seeing and learning something new at Drag Boss Garage. Thank you, Ben Alameda, for being there, helping me show off this new Cleveland block. There's more in store, trust me.